Hi everybody, welcome to another program of uh, Yeshiva Classroom and we're here uh, at this time uh, every week so uh, this is the latest number 457 and uh, we're uh, pre-recording this on uh, June 20th 2020 2022 2022 June 20th okay there's a lot to talk about and and I want to tell you how beautiful the Jewish people are because we were chosen and we were loved and we were made distinct from any nation in the history of the world and that's in the Jewish Bible known to the Gentile world as the Old Testament but it is the only testament that we have because God is not fickle he does not change his mind look in chapter in Numbers chapter 23 19 God is not a man God is not the son of a man and God is not fickle we, he does not change his mind. He made a covenant with the Jewish people. Now you should write these numbers down to look them up because they're, they're so important in, in, in basic ideology of Judaism. And everything is taken from the Torah, also known to the AKA the Old Testament to the, to the Goyim. We have only one testament and that is the Jewish Bible. And we are chosen people by God beginning in the years of Abraham and continuing on till he made that covenant with us to show us that he, we the Jewish people are the descendants of the chosen people. Now take a pen with you and let's, let's write down some of these uh, uh, sentences that I'm going to give you. You know, uh, basically, uh, it says chosen. Where do we find chosen in the Bible? Many places. Write this down in Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. You are holy. God has chosen you as a treasured people from all the nations of the world. Again, Deuteronomy 7, chapter 7, verse 6. You are holy. God has chosen you as a treasured people from all the peoples on the face of the earth. Not because you are the largest people, but you are the smallest people. Why? Because God made a covenant with you at Sinai and because God loves you. God loves the Jewish people. So that's one place in Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6, right? And uh, there's uh, other sentences that come up after that that God loves the Jewish people. The same sentence it can be found in uh, Deuteronomy chapter uh, 14 verse 2. Deuteronomy chapter 14 verse 2. Write these down and get a chance to memorize them as, uh, as many as you can. Review it in your mind. You know, uh, the prophet uh, said, uh, he said, he said three things. Uh, do justice, love kindliness, and walk humbly with God. Walk humbly with God. That means to review when you're doing a chore that doesn't need intelligence, so to speak, uh, or waiting for a bus or, or a subway, or just having some few moments. Review. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6. Get a pen, write this down. And also the same sentence is in Deuteronomy chapter 14 verse 2. You are holy, 
I have chosen you as a treasured people from all the peoples on the face of the earth. That's in Deuteronomy 7, 6 and Deuteronomy uh, 14, 2. Now, he loves the Jewish people. Write this down. This is something that you should memorize. It's something that the yeshiva uh, boys and girls should, should know and, and memorize these uh, psukim or sentences. Over there, it says over there in, uh, 10 chap in Deuteronomy chapter 10, uh, verse uh, 14. To God is the heavens and the heavens above the earth and all that there is therein. But only in your forefathers did he delight to love them, to choose you, his progeny, over all the nations of the world. As of this day, as of this day, meaning as of now when I'm speaking to you, that remains in effect that we are chosen again write it down this is in Deuteronomy chapter 10 uh, verse 14 behold to God is the heavens and the heavens above the earth and all that there is therein but only in your forefathers did he delight to love them to choose your progeny over all the nations of the world. We are, we are loved and chosen. And if anybody wants to say, well, God uh, changed his mind, God is, is not fickle. He's not changeable. He is one entity that is always true to his word. And again, Numbers 23, 19, God is not a man, God is not the son of a man, and God is not fickle. All that in 23, 19. So that we have chosen, he loves us, De Deuteronomy 20, 20, 20, chapter 23, verse 6, he loves us and uh, chosen throughout the Bible. And you say, well, and God changes his mind? No way. Look at Leviticus chapter uh, 26, uh, chapter 20, Leviticus chapter 20, uh, 26, uh, verse uh, 20, uh, uh, verse uh, 44. Right, 26 verse 44 over in Leviticus, it says over there that in spite of being revolted by them, I will not annul my covenant with them. In spite of being revolted by them, I will never annul my covenant with the Jewish people. That covenant is in effect. We're special. We're chosen. And where else did, uh, did I say over there? Uh, over uh, over there in Exodus, um, the, this the uniqueness, especially of the Jewish people. Chap again, write this down. Chapter uh, uh, twenty. Chapter again. Chapter. Uh, a thir a 30, a 33, chapter 33, verse 17. And this is, this is after the subject matter of uh, the, uh, the golden calf. That's a whole story in itself. But chapter 33, 17, God has not taken the original stance of of destroying the Jewish people and having a people through Moses. But he says that I will always be with the Jewish people. And he says over there that Moses, uh, prior to that sentence, says, Well, you say that we are unique, 
But how come you you send a an angel in front of us and not your personal? And God says, I will send my personal angel or myself in front of you. And then Moses asked him, Moses asked him, God, we we want to be distinct above all all your people because maybe sometimes some other um, person will will claim divinity or whatever, and you will go with him. And 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 God said, "This I will do also. You will be distinct from above." all the nations of the world and we see that wherever there is humanity throughout the ages the Jewish people have always risen to the top like the cream before homogenization of, of the milk the cream goes to the top and that's how it is. We were given a cut above the others that because God chose us, because He loves us, He, he made us distinct. And you know, uh, when uh, there's another puzzle for you in uh, Exodus, you know, Exodus 34:10. Exodus 34.10 he says over there that you know in the beginning of that chapter God says carve out stone tablets unlike the first tablets where I gave you and formed the tablets but make your own tablets and come up to the mountain and I will give you the, the second set of, of, of commandments just like the first that, that you broke when you came down and in 34.10 he says you will be again God said you will be distinct above all the nations of the of the world and that's why you know throughout history we have been exiled because of our transgressions and while in exile we are to be a light unto the nations they they are to they are to observe our our lifestyle and our our way of 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 doing things of justice and kindness what does it say over what does it say over there in, in chapter 18 verse 19 in Genesis for I know Abraham will teach his children and his household the ways of God of justice kindness and charity justice kindness and charity for I know that Abraham will teach his children and his household the ways of God of kindness justice and charity and that's how it is we unfortunately do not understand these principles and have them fresh in our minds because while we're in exile we brought up the level of, of, of humanity not completely because there's, the Gentiles are set in their ways but over there look at this sentence in, in chapter uh, in chapter uh, what was I going to say in um, mm, uh, yeah so chosen love and 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 distinct you know uh for i know it says in that last sentence for i know abraham will teach his children uh the ways of god of charity justice and kindness but we ask well how does 
how does God know that the Jewish people are, are going to choose kindness and, and charity and justice? How does God know that if man has free will? That begs the question. And one, one explanation of free will is, you know, man has the ability to choose, right? You know, I, I, I get tangential very, very, very frequently. But man has the ability to choose. It's not, it's not, God isn't playing a part, so to speak. He has the ability to choose to do good to harm. So how does God know what he's going to do? And the answer is, free will is really a partnership. It's a partnership between man and God. Man has the ability to think of what he wants to do. He has that ability. And the act, the motion of what he wants to do is carried on, carried out by God. That brings it into fruition. And, and God will determine whether that, that individual will 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 his thoughts will come into fruition or not whether he'll catch the plane that is going to crash or he'll miss it because God showed him a different way to go so that's a whole subject in itself but bear in mind free will is a free will is a partnership between man and God. These are, these are basic principles that, that we should learn out and, and, and it should be fresh in a person's mind, in a Jew's mind. And you say, well, look at anti-Semitism. Well, well, I wanted to bring up this other passage. He said, you know, the Gentiles will look at us in chapter, Deuteronomy chapter 4 verse 5, the Gentiles will look at us and they'll say, Oh, uh, 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 their eyes will see the Jewish people observing the, uh, the commandments and they, and they will hear them uh, and they, they will say, it is their wisdom and understanding in the eyes of the Gentile how, how fair and, and beautiful are the life of the Jewish people, how fair and beautiful how wise and understanding these people are. But we don't understand our mission and a lot of times we went into exile and uh, we were uh, led astray by our bad inclination. Oh yeah, I wanted to bring out uh, the... Now skip me again. Uh, I wanted to bring out uh, what was I going to say? Uh, Anti-Semitism. Anti-Semitism. They spend millions of dollars and set up chairs in universities and universities uh, and uh, compact uh, uh, laws uh, of, of uh, how you, how you're going to be uh, you can't be an anti-Semite and, and the Jewish people, you can't have that. And just today on the internet I see uh, Schenectady, New York is filled with swastikas all over the place. And, and, and you know, you have to pay laws, uh, the, you know, the BDS, you know, uh, boycott uh, the, 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 the Jewish state. And, and here, we're, uh, here we're, 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 these are the fifth columnists among, among us. They don't understand that, that this anti... You, you think that they would, would be uh, anti-German with, with all the relatives of our living uh, rel uh, people who, who lost their sons and daughters in, in World War II through German uh, killings and, and uh, uh, what have you. Uh, but they, nobody anti-German. No, nobody's anti-Volkswagen, anti-BMW. Yeah, they buy the German cars, they buy the German goods, they never say a bad word. <laughs> but the Jew, 
is, is, is constantly harassed with anti-Semitic uh, uh, swastikas all over the place. The answer is that God allows this evil person's thoughts to come into fruition. Why? Because he wants to get these Jewish people be, to become aware of the fact that they are Jews and they have a special covenant and they will come closer and hopefully they will, they will bring uh, knowledge to, to, the, to the Jewish people and, and understand that it, their purpose in life is to make the world a better place through learning and observing the Torah. What does it say over there? In uh, the uh, in Exodus uh, chapter twenty four, chapter twenty four, verse seven, he said, God said to before he went up to the to the mountain to get the Ten Commandments and the Torah. God said, God said, ascend to Moses. God said to Moses, ascend the mountain, and I will inscribe the two stone tablets and give you the written Torah and teach you the commandments, the Talmud. And you will be there 40 days and 40 nights. That, that's in 20, the 24-7 in Exodus. Chapter 24-7 or uh, chapter 24-12. Uh, Whatever. Anyway, that's what happened. That's what happened. He went up there and 40 days and 40 nights and, they, and, and then they said, wow, it's, it's time is up. Moses only went up there with a shirt on his back. There's no way that he could, he could stay there in that environment for 40 days and 40 nights. But he did and he came down and he saw the people. Error, Rob. It's always mentioned that the, the complainers are soft soup. They always mention that the edge, God puts fire at the edge of the, of the uh, encampment because the Jewish people were encamped in tribe, tribal formation, right? And in the Goyim or the Arab, those people that wanted to, uh, to come along with, with the God of the Jewish people, they, they were at the edge of the camp. They didn't have any formation. They were not members of a tribe. And that's where the Asafs uh, were, the complainers. And that's how the cravers, the, the craving for, for uh, all kinds of varietal of food, excuse me, all kinds of varietal of foods, not happy with the manna. Okay, look, we get tangential and tangential and tangential. But look, Basically, this is a hatchet, right? And what happened over there last week, uh, in the first week of June 2022? That a, a, uh, a roach, an Arab roach came out of his car, was driven, uh, given a ride by a Jew, and he took the hatchet. When I, and, and, Killed three fathers before he was before he ran away. And he, over what person, what animal has the gall to to you know? It's shooting is the one thing, but to take a hatchet and not and 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 split his skull with three fathers made orphan. What kind of a person is that? And what does he do? He runs to. Uh, it runs a few a few blocks. They catch him and they put him in jail. And right away, the Palestinian Authority says that uh, uh, you know we'll we'll pay your salary. We'll we'll pay your family. We'll pay everything that uh, we'll build a new house for you. Everything for you because you're a martyr and you die for the cause. And in the meantime, he's sitting in prison. He's sitting in prison, fitting in three squares a day. And the, and the, and the other day, they, they, they uh, threw Molotov cocktails at the Jewish Defense Forces. And, and the, 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 the bottom line is that they were captured and put into jail. 
Who needs to capture them? Someone's going to shoot you, who wants to kill you, you kill them first. Why? Because they are led by the biggest anti-Semite that we know of today, and that's Joe Biden and his administration. The U.S. pays terrorist families. They pay them big sums of money, yet they give them over uh, close to a billion dollars in, in aid, cash, for the Palestinian Authority to, to kill more Jews, making them, giving them an incentive. What greater deal would you, could you get to kill to kill a Jew and pay and get and, and your family pays gets paid for it for the rest of their life and then you get exchanged in a prisoner swap? What a deal! Here in in the past there has been anti-Semitism, anti-Semitism to keep the Jewish people um, keep the uh, Jewish people together. And, and how do you how do you solve anti-Semitism? In Deuteronomy, write this down. Deuteronomy chapter twenty-eight, verse nine. Chapter twenty-eight, verse nine. Over there it says, "Walk in the ways of God and keep the commandments, and all the peoples of the world will have awe and fear of you." That's the answer to anti-Semitism. Chapter twenty-eight, verse nine. Walk in the ways of God and do the commandments, observe the commandments, and all the nations of the world will have awe and fear of you. Simple solution. And where, where is our leaders? Three, yeah, where are our leaders? They have to be set, the plan is to set up, to set up, or what, what does this say? Here are some of the uh, anti-Semites that uh, their evil intentions were brought to fruition. Edward I of England uh, before Oliver Cromwell and that happened um, uh, where uh, the, in November the, the King Edward uh, ordered the sheriffs to make a double search to make sure that all the Jews were expelled from his land and two years later they were brought back. Uh, Billam, right? Billam, uh, he says over there in Numbers, the Gentile prophet in the book of Numbers, Billam, he says over there that he, he wanted to, to curse uh, the Jews but he was stopped in, in the midst of cursing he could, because God would not allow it. He could have thoughts of what he wants to do, but God determines whether those thoughts come into fruition. And what does uh, what does Billam say? He said, "Let me die the death of the righteous. Let me die the death of the righteous. Let my end be like theirs." Let my end be like theirs. We're talking about the next world. It's, it says over there, uh, that, that's a Billam, the, uh, the, the Gentile prophet. He wants to die uh, the, the death of, of the righteous Jews. So he can get a ticket uh, to, to, to the next world. So he can, uh, 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 because this is only the testing world. Uh, chapter 8, 2 in Deuteronomy, I uh, tested you, afflicted you, and tested you to see what is in your heart, whether you observe the commandments or not. These are all tests. Uh, 18, uh, I, 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 I afflicted you and tested you because it's for your benefit at the end. E-N-D. It's for your benefit at the end. And that's how my Jewish brethren have got to learn that, that you got to... You, 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 you want to set up a retirement account? Then estate planning? No. You, that you don't take with you. Only the commandments and 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 the and, and the teachings of the Torah, divinely given Torah to the Jewish people. And and I, you say, well, that's a great plan. That's a, yeah, that's a great idea, you know. But but who has who has 
Uh, I can't memorize all what, what, what I'm saying to you. Look, I'm gonna say, look, we have a, a, a travel. I, I want to go on our radio stations. Uh, if you want to help me in um, achieving this goal, telling you exactly what I was saying now, uh, you, can, you can call uh, or leave a message at 516. 295-4233 the best way uh, I can always get in, back, in touch with you that's Edward the first uh, Billum Billum the Gentile prophet FDR Franklin Delano Roosevelt he knew what was going on in, in uh, Europe he knew that they were killing mass murderers, and, and this material is is um, classified. World War II material classified of what the United States knew about the killings, the mass killings of the Jewish people, but he never brought it to the fore. He said, we have to put everything into the war effort. We can't divert a plane to drop a bomb on the, on, on the concentration camps, the killing camps. But he could send over uh, a, a team of Clydesdale horses to rec rescue uh, 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 paintings and, and all other kinds of tangential uh, uh, things he did. But to save Jewish lives, no one cares about that. And then we have his predecessor, Biden. He, he fell off a bicycle the other, the other day in, in Delaware. He was riding on his bicycle. They took his pictures of him. He fell, he fell off the bicycle, and that's where he is. Uh, and the, the reporters ask him, how come you don't ask, uh, answer any of our questions? They ask him repeatedly when you have a, a news conference. Why do you walk away? Why don't you answer the questions? Because he's incapable. He's, he, he is beyond intelligence of what's happening to in, 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 in all these different uh, sections. And, and the media is, is constantly uh, badgering uh, uh, by, uh, Trump about the, uh, the, uh, the January 6th. Uh, uprising, you know, as if he wanted to uh, to, to, to 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 over over overrun the government. Uh, how? I mean, how? By 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 he has no charge of those those uh, zealots. I want to uh, tied with this uh, administration. And and there's uh, pictures of uh, of of where where the, the Capitol police opened the doors. They don't show those pictures. Yeah, they have to defund the media. So that's Biden. He's coming. He he, he knows. He he stopped at the Pope uh, and uh, uh, a month ago. And he probably got some uh, uh, instructions and telling him that we're going to free Jerusalem. Uh, the Crusaders didn't do it. The Pilgrims that uh, they wanted to to free the Jerusalem for the infidels and and I'll do it. He's coming there July 13th. He's going to give them more money. To kill Jews, that's the worst anti-Semite that she, he goes down to together with Franklin Delano Roosevelt, Hitler, and and Joe Biden all in the same breath, and 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 what, here he he he's given a, a, a half a billion uh, to uh, to UNESCO, which is an anti-Jewish organ of of United Nations. And they preach uh, all how great the Arab people are and, and, and anti-Semitic. And they gave a half a billion just to, to, to go over past dues of, of the United Nations, that the UNESCO that he, that he owed, that Trump outlawed. And Trump uh, uh, put domestic oil exploration into... In, into uh, uh, practice uh, where they could drill uh, drill in, in, in the domestic lands, and they were uh, and, and America was an exporter 
of oil until uh, a Sleepy Joe came along and did away with that. And, and now we're paying over five dollars a gallon for gasoline. Uh, what is this? Yeah. So now do we have the Bobby Yar in Ukraine? In Ukraine, there were you know it says over there. Write it down. It's, it's a pusik, you know sentence. It says over there in Genesis twelve three. Whoever curses the Jewish people is cursed, and whoever blesses the Jewish people is blessed. That you have in Genesis 12, uh, 12 3, and in Numbers, the same sentence, 24 9, chapter 24 9. Write it down. Try to memorize some of these uh, sentences. But here we have, in two days, they killed 55,000. They, they, they knew who, they, they were good at counting. You know, the Germans are good at counting. And, and the, the men, women, children, they laid them down one row after the other, banging to the head machine gun. That's how it was. So now, what do we have in Ukraine? The Baba Yar is in Ukraine. Who is the head of Ukraine? A Jew. Zelensky. He doesn't know too much about Judaism. I don't think so. He married a, a, a Gentile a woman. But how much does he know? I, 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 I don't know. But he's in charge uh, of, of the Ukrainian forces uh, to, to, to fight to the last man. Fight to the last man. And you think this is not a punishment? Absolutely it's a punishment. Well, but they, they didn't do anything against the Jews. No, by, by, by killing Jews, they will not be able to produce offspring. And therefore, these offspring, the Ukrainians that are fighting the Russians, uh, like uh, it, it's uh, unbelievable uh, that they, they should not surrender. And give me freedom or give me death. Okay, but look. They're being killed. And to talk a little specific about the scapegoat. The Jewish, Jewish people were, uh, or scapegoat, right? The Jewish people. You know, that in, in, in 15, year 1530, uh, 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 William Tyndall um, was the first one to uh, translate the Jewish Bible into English. That was in 1530, and when he came to, when he came to the uh, sentence of uh, uh, letting the um, goat go into the wilderness with all the sins of the Jewish people, uh, he translated that goat as the escaped goat. Escaped the goat that escaped. And actually, it was a it was, it was a so to speak a a, a tale where uh, all the sins of, of of the Jewish people and Yom Kippur would be uh, would would go into exile. And bear in mind that uh, this atonement that we have on Yom Kippur is for the transgression of of hectic of something that is is holy like the temple and and, and all the uh, environment there and by being tome uh, you're asking the the koyim koyim were asking for forgiveness uh, for those people that went in uh, uh, unknowingly but you carry that tradition on to Yom Kippur today, the 10th of, uh, of Tishrei, so that uh, 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 we remember the, those holy uh, uh, places. But it does not atone for people who have uh, trans, uh, uh, harmed uh, a neighbor or a fellow human being. Well, they say over there in Leviticus 19, 18, 
uh, you should love your neighbor as yourself, should not bear a grudge, should not have uh, uh, enemies, uh, and she should not um, be envious, uh, all those things in, in Leviticus 19, 18, right? 19, 18. So, what happened in this? So, they came to uh, uh, William uh, Tyndall, he came to uh, to the goats uh, that we find in, in, in Leviticus, and it says over there that he um, he called them escaped goats. But what happened? They 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 dropped the e from escape and made it scape, and, and they used the Jews as the scapegoat. How so? Because when uh, When, when, for instance, like it brings down in history, where the Jews were a minority in a in a city, uh, and they were being attacked by a uh, a foreign uh, force, and it was a stalemate. The foreign force couldn't enter, and 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 the defenders couldn't uh, uh, win either. So what they said, the, the both antagonists said, well, why should we knock ourselves down, kill each other? Let's blame the Jews. And that's, uh, that's what a scapegoat is. It's something that they did not commit or, or wrongfully, something wrongfully uh, committed to the, to the Jewish people. And the Jews have been the scapegoat throughout the centuries. That's because we have not, uh, you know, it's in World War II. Oh, who is going to kill six million Jews? Set up factories when they got all kinds of things, uh, priority matters uh, to do, uh, and and they, and they and they say, well, you know, uh, it's important to kill uh, to kill Jews. But God said He wanted to take. He saw that all these isms, the communism, the socialism, the Bundism, all these uh, anti-religious. Uh, uh, organizations were coming to the fore. And so God had mercy, so to speak, on the Jewish people that uh, they, they should get to, to the next world before they succumb to all these foreign influences. Right? That, that's a thought. So that's, that's scapegoating. Scapegoating the Jewish people are the scapegoats. But all we have to do is look at 28.9 and we get the answer. They keep walking the ways of God. Solving anti-Semitism. Yeah, we said we spoke about that 28-9. But the plan is that not for me to to speak to you about all these psukim and what they potentially carry, but but th there should be there should be set up a uh, there should be set up, uh, say, on Sunday afternoons, where, where uh, like like from 11 a.m. to 1, where people can come and read the books that I have, that I have studied and learned out of, and make come up with the same conclusions. Not, not that, that, you know, you're listening to speakers, to, to rabbis, no matter how good the word is. You have to work yourself. You have to do the work in order to get a, a better understanding. And, and that's how, and that's how uh, it, it goes. So, so, that's how it should be. You do the work. Not the rabbi, who do, he's doing the preparation. And, and... And to deliver the speech, he does all the work. He gets, uh, he gets the benefit. Uh, and, and he's able to give it over because he worked at it. And that's how we are. We're a congregation of, of kainim, of priests, right? Do the, he says over there in 19.6, Exodus, uh, excuse me, 19.6 uh, Exodus. says, uh, do the commandments. Is that, again, I do the commandments and observe the uh, the covenant, 
right? That, that God made with Abraham and that they're going to get the first covenant in Mount Sinai. And you will be a kingdom of Kohanim. You will be a kingdom of priests. And that's what we should be, a kingdom of priests, knowledgeable in every aspect of the law, as much as we were able to. But we have to have study halls. And, and, the, and the young, you know, my son is doing, he, he's a dentist, and, and he, does, he does implants, and, uh, but he has time uh, for, uh, for his people also. It should be full time, but he does a lot of work, and he puts a lot of effort, and he gets a lot of things done. But right now, he's in contact, his group, his group is in contact with one of the colleges to offer high school seniors credits towards college. And it'll, be, it'll come out in, on, uh, in January uh, of this coming year. Now it's June and January of uh, 2023, uh, where high school kids from around the, the world uh, can earn credits uh, by taking these uh, courses on, in Zoom, taking these credits on, in Zoom, and thereby, the, the Jewish credit, Jewish uh, thought content, uh, yeah. So how do we get the, the young, young kids? You, you have to motivate them in, in the yeshiva, the, the people daydream, whatever. I mean, pews, celebrate three out of four, go away from... Some, uh, something's wrong somewhere. And I think that the answer is we have to have more emphasis on individual learning and giving it over, giving over what they learn. Okay, look, you can call me, leave a message if I'm in here, 516-295-4233. Call me, leave a message, we want to help. We want to go onto radio stations around the country and show the beauty of, of Judaism. Show the beauty of, of Judaism. Now, what is the next one? It says, uh oh, Talmud time, Talmud time, right? Talmud time. We gotta learn the Talmud now. Because the Talmud is, is, is part of, 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 of the Bible, right? We have the 24 written books. We have the, uh, that includes the, 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 the Torah. And we have, the commandments which we, we learned from, from Talmud, uh, and, and this everyone should get. I, I, you, could do, you could do it yourself. It's at, at seven, telephone, write it down, 718-921-9000. 718-921-9000, artscrolls.com. And everything's in English. Everything's in English and, and Aramaic. So let's let's learn Talmud. The first the first page. The first the first page uh, Talmud is divided into Mishnah and Gemara. Makes up the Talmud. Here it is. May I'm gonna say it in Hebrew and English. May I more same words, same words over and over again. May I more say Korin Ashimabiarvim. From when to when do we learn, uh, do, uh, do we, uh, from when to when do uh, we read the Shema Yisrael of, of the evening? From when to when, what are the time for parameters to say the Shema Yisrael prayer? Well, every Jew should say this in evening and morning. Shema Yisrael, Hashem Elokeinu, and Hashem Echad. Hear, O Israel, the Lord is God, God is one. Hashem is God. We don't know His name, we don't know the names that He gives. Hashem. So, that everything's in English, you got to read the footnotes. Read the footnotes. Talmud time. Me'am Karin Hashem Abiyarvim. From when to when do we read the Shema Yisrael prayer of the evening? So the answer is Mishash Akainim Nichnasim Echol Betruma. From the time that the Kainim entered to eat their truma. Well, I asked you a simple question. Give me the time frame. 
And the answer is from the time that the Kohanim entered to eat their truma. Truma is, or is the, the Gemara says, how come this doesn't answer the question? It does in a way, because we're teaching you things by the way, Agav Orcho. Right? Teaching you things by the way. Agav Orcho. You learn about truma from the time the Kohanim entered to eat their truma. The truma means if a, a farmer has a hundred bushels of of apples, he has to give two bushels, two percent, to a coin, to a, a priest, he has to give truma. That's truma. And then you learn my Rishon goes to to the, to, to the Levi, does a lot of work in the, in the temple. Then you have my Sashani, that goes to, the, uh, to, to, to Jerusalem where you eat it. But yeah, it's seven times it's mentioned in the Bible that God told Abraham, I'm going to give you the land of, of Israel. I'm going to give you the land of Israel. Seven times to Abraham, three times to Isaac, and once to Jacob. So, you don't think God is going to keep his promises? He most certainly is. And therefore, that's, that's what... Uh, you, you have to get the book and read it yourself. You don't have to go fast. You just you just read it yourself, and, and that that's Talmud. You got you don't need the rabbi. The art scroll is your rabbi. Art scroll is your rabbi. So 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 what happened over there in in, in the scapegoat, and the Jews uh, were made the scapegoat in many in many situations throughout uh, history, and uh, murdered for 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 no reason. Uh, because uh, you know, like the uh, the mafia families today, they 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 bear a grudge, and therefore one family kills uh, kills a member of the other family because he's getting revenge, and it happens in in many uh, cultures uh, throughout the world. But now in Judaism, because Judaism. Said that there is a um, Judaism said that there is a Eremikla, a city that is set aside for not premeditated murders. Pre not premeditated murderers. So that was a special city that you couldn't touch a murderer, of a, a member of the opposite of a different family wanted to get revenge, he couldn't go. He couldn't do it. He went to Ira Mikla. He went to the the, the city uh, where he would not be uh, un, uh, touched. And um, that, you know, I lost my... Uh, yeah, so that's where he was. He, he was in the Ira Mikla. Uh, and, and there were cities set up throughout Israel and we don't take revenge, and this is a a um, way that uh, we can um, can uh, can follow that uh, directive because you can't you can't hurt him. He's in the city uh, of Ira Miklot and, and stops the, the the chain of violence. Unlike the Goyim, who uh, till this day keep on. On, on killing each other. Uh, so, um, I don't have my master chart, unfortunately, with me. I don't know what I did with it. But the point is that some other things I wanted to bring out. It says, make for me a, a Mishkan so that I can dwell with you. So I can dwell with you. That's in... in uh, 20 in, in Exodus 25, 8. Make for me a Mishkan so that I may dwell amongst you. And there are, in the middle of the assemblage of the tribes, was the Mishkan, the uh, tabernacle, and it gave instructions, uh, specifics of how it should be built, beginning with the Aaron the ark which housed the um, the the uh, Ten Commandments and stone tablets 
the only physical object that was ever given to man. The only physical object that was ever given to man. And there are specifications of how much uh, you, should, you should give, uh, or how much uh, it should be constructed by, uh, or the dimensions, and, and, and so forth and so on, and, and all of the um, different importances, uh, furniture that w went into the, into, the, into the Mishkan. And, and when it, that was in, in chapter 25, Chapter 26, and next 27, 28, 29, 30, 30, uh, 31. And, and, and all about the specifications uh, and, 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 and the furniture went into this portable uh, tabernacle. And when I got to 31, the, the construction specifications were stopped because it said remember 3113 Shabbos is a sign between me and the Jewish people that you should not that, that Hashem is God it's a sign the Shabbos is a sign between me God and the Jewish people that that this that the Sabbath that, that Hashem is God that Hashem is God 3113 uh, and 31, 17, it's a sign, Shabbos is a sign between me and the Jewish people that you, know, you should work on six days and on the seventh day you should cease and, and be ref, uh, refreshed. And then it, that breaks up the, uh, the, the, the most holy uh, arm that was being under constructed, or under construction, because Shabbos Trump triumphs, trumps uh, uh, everything. The keeping of the Shabbos, it's a sign. And the other signs are, are the tefillin and, and the um, and, and the bris mila, the circumcision of the male. Those are the three signs that the Jewish people have and are, um, are, are uh, directed uh, to observe. And this business of making um, uh, tattoos and all that thing is prohibited. There's only three signs, and the tattoos are, is not is not one of them. So that uh, more or less uh, how did I how did I forget this uh, thing? I don't have my um, sheet that I can look on on. Uh, but, um, you know, uh, we have the uh, numbers uh, repeating it. Deja vu. When it comes to the Jewish people, they, they had to, uh, on leaving, they, they had technical leadership in leaving, in leaving Egypt as slaves. The water was bitter. No worry, Moshe said. Uh, the uh, uh, I'll fix it. Throw a tree in there. Uh, that we don't have any water. Uh, I'll hit the rock. No problem. Uh, we don't have any food. Uh, we took the, the nothing. Not even bread or anything. Don't don't worry. I'll give it to. You. I'll, I'll, I'll 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 give you manna. And then deja vu. The same thing happens in Numbers. Uh, after 38 years, the Jews are complaining that we don't have water. They had no patience. Moshe was upset. He was, didn't know what to do with himself. He, was, he became nervous. He said, what should I do? You know, so he spoke to the rock. He hit the rock. He didn't know what to do. How could they uh, not learn to be patient and, and polite uh, insolent, and, and not insolent? And, 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 and then he wanted to... Uh, they, they wanted the food, variety of food. Uh, the, the, the manna was nondescript. We, we were tired of manna. We don't want that. And then, then they said, uh, uh, you know, remember the, the pots of meat and, and, and all the, the wonderful things we had in Egypt. And then they said, we want meat. We, we want to have meat. 
and, and and if we remember what we did and how we lived in Egypt and and so Moshe cried to God, what can I do? Look at these people that they're making a mess out of everything. They should be growing gradually. And, and God said, I'll, I'll give you, uh, I'll give you uh, 70 elders to help you. How 70 elders going to help you bring me to the people? Because the 70 elders will explain to you, that to the people throughout their tribes, look, you cut yourself uh, there, there's a chemical uh, a signal goes out and, and throughout the, the, the system the, uh, the, the, the uh, phycocytes come out and attack the, the enemy and, 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 and win over, uh, they, they call it construction site, uh, cells, they build it over again. I mean he didn't explain it in a scientific time. But he, he gave, he, the, the elders gave them chizok, to, the people chizok, and that's to keep uh, the, uh, the fires burning. Look, call me at 515-4233. Uh, Leave a message. All the best. Thank you. Have a good day. God bless.